Hello, Leo. And Cross Watchers, thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your weekly tarot reading for December 29th through January 4th. If you find the messages helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome, and I upload messages daily. So, Leo, let's see here. Also, guys, please keep in mind these messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. I recommend checking other signs within your birth chart. Um, and if you don't know about a birth chart or what signs are within your birth chart, um, I do have a website that's linked below. There is no affiliation. It's a tool that I've found useful for myself. Um, when I was trying to figure, you know, myself out to see, you know, to get clear on what messages would resonate better. Also, it helps with astrology, um, birth charts. There's a lot of information around astrology and how it, it plays a role in your life. Um, but knowing your birth chart and knowing what signs are prominent or dominant within your birth chart is a very useful. So I believe it's Astro Cafe. It's linked below in the description. Um, also, I do still do a drawing here on the channel every month for a free personal reading. The information is linked below in the description box. All you have to basically do is comment your astrological sign below and that will get you entered into the drawing. Um, and then last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message to kind of give it that little positive boost. So if it's resonating um, with your situation, I do find it helpful with that power thought card. It's it's crazy how the energies are kind of fluid and it just flows through the reading through all of the decks. So, Leo, imagine, come to the edge, mending. I get the sense here, Leo, that um, there's a situation, a relationship, that has had a little bit of turmoil, maybe a falling out. And even though I feel like you're in this spot of, I'm good, you're on this rock above everybody, there's a need here to come to the edge. Um, there's a need here to at least have a conversation with this person for some closure at the very least. Okay, but mending talks about forgiveness and um, mending relationships. So there may be something that you're missing here, um, something that you're not seeing within this opportunity. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can get any more information here for you, Leo. So... We're doing a little bit of different style spread. I'm going to do a little bit of overview with the fairy tarot, and then I'm going to pull out a regular tarot deck and do day to day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. So let's see. Let's see, Leo. Let's see. Most important message for Leo spirit. What does Leo need to see for December 29th through January 4th? I feel like there is some confusion. There is some confusion. Um, this card, Emperor, is definitely a strong energy. It's a major arcana. In this deck, it, it symbolizes logic, structure, being organized. Um, because of the cards that are coming out, I feel like this person is coming, coming towards you in a lighthearted manner, um, kind of a little, a little bit of a player energy, maybe seemingly, 
um, and that might not be their intention. However, because they're coming at this more of like a friendship style, not, not so serious, it's hard to take them serious, right? Which is causing some confusion, causing some confusion for you um, within this connection. Now, as I was saying with the, with the cards coming out in the Oracle deck, maybe this is just a need for closure. Okay. Maybe you need to communicate that with that person. I just can't take you serious in this connection because you're confusing. One minute you're you might present yourself as serious the next minute you're aloof, right? Get the sense here that it's it's having you in this cautionary state, this guarded state. Even though the oracle cards say come to the edge, um, have this conversation with this person, I ultimately feel here, Leo, that it's more to get closure. It's more to get closure on this situation, um, to have an understanding of why things have happened the, the way that they have. I feel like you're going to be moving forward um, into something more calm, something more balanced. But in order to not carry this baggage forward with you, to have this confusion follow, um, gaining clarity is going to be beneficial for yourself. What does this have anything to do with this week? I feel like this week is when this person may come back. Like, hey, I'm back. Miss me? And you're going to be like, wait a minute. Where have you been? What? What's going on here? Right? I feel like this is, it's not the first time this has happened. But I definitely get the sense with the Wheel of Fortune here. It will be the last. So let's break it down, Leo. Let's break it down. Let's do um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then the weekend, we're going to pull two cards for each. So let's see. Let's see what comes out for you, Leo, for this week. First two cards are going to be Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. For Leo Spirit, let's see. Well, we can't take half the deck. Sorry. Sorry, guys. The only one that flipped over. There's an air of healing that needs to take place, but I feel like you're ready. This card is like ready. Ready to take action. This could also symbolize travel but i definitely get the sense here that there is a need to pay attention pay attention and focus on self focus on the things that you can control this person may think that oh they'll be this has happened before but I feel here, Leo, that you're, mm -mm. you're standing your ground in this one. The energy that I'm picking up is a very stable, very steady. Mm -mm -mm. Not again, buddy. There may be a new opportunity that's going to come in your life. Well, I believe that's... Oh, well, that's... The Fool came out on New Year's. Uh-oh. Somebody coming back from your past to heal this connection. So on New Year's, something might happen that brings this person back or brings somebody back. 
but I feel like you're abruptly the next day like nope back to me I'm hearing stand your ground don't let this person come in and out of your life don't play into the energy um, if anything you need to have this more grounded approach you know like look I want it this way if it's not going to be that way then I'm going to do what's best for me we have the emperor coming out twice the emperor confirmed so just standing your ground Leo I feel like this person is going to try you this person is going to try to come in and out. Um, they may over the course of the week at least twice disappear. This is a very aloof person. They may have commitment issues. Somebody here has commitment issues. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. So pay attention. Be cautious. Um, stand your ground is definitely the sense that I'm getting here. It's time to make a decision. I hate to say this, but if this isn't decided, it could be decided for you. Okay, this person could just play back and forth into this energy until they find somebody that's going to stand their ground. Until they find that person that's strong-willed, like, nope, you're going to stay or you're going to go. And that's it. So, it's up to you, Leo. Um, honestly, there is still free will involved here. There's still, you know, the choice to do what makes you happy. However, by letting this person go in and out, back and forth, it's not only causing a strain on your health and your body, it's causing a strain on the relationship. And on your mental space, on how you're perceiving relationships. So standing your ground is going to be key in the success. Whether it's healing or reconciling so let's see here the power thought card that came out for you leo my healing is already in process so really quickly leo i do want to do an extended reading on this i am going to take a look at this person who's coming in and out of your life i want to take a little bit deeper look into their position what they're going through and i also want to take a look at where this is headed what the outcome is going to be and get a couple guidance cards my healing is already in process my willingness to forgive begins my healing process i allow the love from my own heart to wash through me cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. My healing is already in process. So Leo, that is the message that I have for you guys. If you want to get in on the extended reading, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.